Hello, and welcome to Animatron Tutorials. Today, we will take a look into animation using imported objects on multiple layers. Here, we can see our caveman friend desperately trying to get his campfire started. We both know he'll be here for a while, so let's see if we can give him something for his troubles. First, we'll need to import a few objects to represent the impact of the club hitting the campfire. By left-clicking the yellow animatron menu at the top left of the browser, we can locate the import feature from the drop-down window. A pop-up window should appear in the center of the browser, showing your import options. Of the three options shown, you can quickly drag and drop the items you want from your own project folder, here, inside the designated box. With my own project folder already open, I can select the items I need and then drag and drop them into my scene. Our caveman friend seems to like fish, so let's use our newly imported fish bones to begin animating. I'll quickly name my new layer Fishbone01 and then position it to the center of the campfire. It looks like our caveman buddy has a pretty mean swing so we can imagine these puny fishbones getting some height and distance after each hit. I'll advance my current time on the timeline by holding left click and dragging the flag to the right. Once the flag is set where we want it, we can move the fishbone up to the highest point in its trajectory. Looking back at our timeline, you'll notice a keyframe has been automatically set for us. Now, advance your current timeline flag again so we can set a keyframe for where the fishbone might land. By following a believable trajectory path, we can place the fishbone again, finishing the action. Always make sure to play your animation back to check for proper timing and actions, making changes as needed. I have previously animated a couple more believable fishbone animations, so pardon me while I work some editing magic. Okay, well now that we have some more believable animations, we can start to group them and duplicate them accordingly. Notice how I now have two separate layers each with their own unique animation and timeline. By holding down the shift key and then left clicking the second fishbone layer, you'll be able to select multiple layers at the same time, shown by the blue outline around the layer names. Once selected, we can essentially group the layers together by right clicking over any of the selected layers and then selecting the group option from the pop-up window. We can then rename the newly merged layer group, prepping it to be duplicated and placed along the timeline. With the layer group selected, hold the Alt key and left click drag the fishbone on the stage in order to duplicate it. Make sure to stay on top of your layer naming so you can keep track of your duplicates. Now, if we play our entire animation back, we can see that these actions don't line up with the caveman hitting the campfire, so let's fix that. By moving the current time flag along the timeline, we can properly locate the timing for each club hit. Let's select Fishbone Group 1 and have it start at the first club hit marker. By hovering your mouse cursor over the thin gray area next to the zero frame, we can left click and drag the start marker to the first club hit on the timeline. We can then repeat this process with Fishbone Group 2 to progress the animation toward completion. On playback, you can see how the fishbone animations don't appear until they reach the start markers of each layer. Now that we understand the entire process, we can continue to reapply these steps over and over to finalize the animation. So, let's wrap this up with a little more editing magic and see what happens when our caveman buddy tries to get fire from a boat. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. We can't wait to have you back for yet another animatron tutorial.